Gear from Gears Guitar Lessons here, and today I'm going to be talking about deconstructing minor caged chord shapes. All right, now the purpose of this is going to be taking these, these big cage shapes and kind of breaking them up into the triads that make them. That means that when we see these big, you know, uh, C minor or A minor shapes, we see all the little triads that make up that shape. Now what that means is that sometimes it's not going to follow the shape, uh, you know, perfectly, but um, for the most part, the benefits are going to be all within these cage shapes, which is going to be the visualization tools. All right, so let's start with uh, C, and I'm going to be in the key of D minor today. So my C minor shape for my cage is going to be this right here, and I'm going to start with the first through third string set, which is going to be kind of like our D minor shape right there, and this is an actual D minor since I'm in the key of D minor. Awesome. Next, uh, we're going to be kind of getting into the shape, and this one I actually tend to use quite a bit instead of this whole... Uh, this big stretch for my pinky right here. My third finger on the third string, or third fret, second string, first finger, and second finger on the uh, third fret on the fourth string. Now this is kind of the part that looks most like a C to me. This is going to be um, my first finger on the third string, second fret, second finger on the uh, fourth string, third fret, and my pinky on the D note, the fifth string, fifth fret. So all together, instead of playing this, I now broke the same shapes kind of into one, two, three different triads right there. Now what's important about these triads is that the triads actually incorporate all three notes that make up the chord. So in playing any of these, we're not losing any information within the chord. Awesome. Next, I'm just going to have this one, which is going to be um, my first finger on the fourth string, third fret, and then fifth fret on both the fifth and sixth string right there. Awesome. Here's that C minor shape again. Next, I'm going to have my A minor shape. So my first finger is going to be kind of planted at the fifth string, fifth fret. All right, here's my big A minor, my fifth string bar chord right there. Be just taking just the bottom part of that, first, second, third finger right there on the fifth, sixth, and seventh fret. Next one is going to look the most like an A minor shape right there. Now you could play it just like we would here with my second uh, pinky and third finger, or I can use my kind of first, third, and second finger right there. All right, here's where we have to kind of change it a little bit. Now, if I do this right there, just kind of following just the bottom three notes of the chord right there, this makes a power chord. So we're kind of missing some of the notes that make it a minor chord. So what we have to do is we have to put our uh, second finger on the eighth fret on the fifth string, and then bar my first finger on the seventh fret on the fourth and third string. Awesome. And then I'm going to be kind of creeping into G territory here, my G minor shape territory with my pinky on the D note right there, 10th fret, 6th string, 2nd finger on the 8th fret, 5th string, and my 1st finger on the 7th fret, 4th string. Awesome. So here's my original shape, my A, 1st triad, 2nd, 3rd, 4th. And now since this one looks so much like the G shape, the G shape and the A minor shape are exactly the same. Awesome. Next we have our E minor shape, or kind of our six string bar chord. All right. So here I am at the 10th fret on the sixth string. I'm going to be going my first finger. is going to be barred on the 10th fret, first, second, and third string. Um, just like the bottom half of that chord, the bottom part of that chord right there. And next I'm going to be kind of going right down the chord. So 10th fret on the second, third, and fourth string. Next I'm going to have my 12th fret on the fifth, fourth, and then my first finger is going to be on the third uh, string, 10th. 10th fret. So I have. Now instead of just kind of going down just that chord right there, again I get this power chord problem. So instead I have to go up to the 13th fret on the 6th string and then 12th fret on the 5th and 4th string. So all together. Next we have the D. Now the D is actually the same thing as a C minor, since our first kind of triad shape that we went over was actually the D minor shape. That's exactly kind of how we start building around that right there. So there we have it, kind of breaking up our big cage cores into these smaller triads. It's also a great way to relate the triads to one another by seeing them all kind of slowly build up that big cage core right there. Thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions or comments, be sure to leave them in the comment section below. Check out GearsGuitarLessons.com for more free lessons, resources, and even a free PDF tab of everything I covered today. Please like, subscribe, and share, and I'll see you next time.